Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 as Byzantium, going for our Roman Empire run. And uh, yes, it has been a great few runs. Few episodes, I should say. Um, honestly, ever since we restarted, it's it's been very much easy mode since then, so I'm really happy about it. I'm going to keep spending the military points. I know that we are... Ooh. Okay. Tomas Angelos. That's pretty good. 18 years old, 1524. I'll take it. Establish Sunday schools, more more merc or more uh, conversion. You know, we need that, so I'm glad we got it. We literally have no way of converting these heretics, so it's a good thing we're doing it. Let's go ahead and get you guys up here to Burgos. And uh, our leader is strict. Oh, so good. The military might. The military might, dude. So good. They got a disease outbreak. These mer these uh, rebels are not going to be able to do anything. Uh, so basically, we can peace out this war whenever. Um, but we, we it needs to be after we're done with this war here. So um, I'm not sure exactly. It's not holy war, so I have to be a little careful about what I'm... Um, let's just go ahead and get a general. I have to be a little careful about my war. Or about my peace deal. Because I can't be taking too much land. Let's go ahead and get you guys out there, get a blockade on that fort. Oh, we won it on a 7%. That is a feels good man if I've ever seen one. We should win this. Certainly. Oh, yeah. We actually gained 7 transports. We lost 1, 2, 3. And they lost, you know, whatever that is. 29. Let's go ahead and get you guys repaired up and get you guys out here blockading. Beautiful. Somehow I haven't seen a single one of his armies yet, which is weird, but it's all good. Let's come on over here and see if we can fight those dudes in the, uh, in the mountains. Lou Beck wants out. Oh my gosh, I did not do that. Okay. There we go. Yep, that's fine. Lots of monies. Thank you, thank you. Somehow, France is being sieged down over here, which is hilarious. Our navy is still fighting out here. Let's go ahead and have you guys head back home. There we go. Problem with... Um, taking land from Castile is that it's always... Oh, wow. We can actually take all that. 76. It's doable. That's certainly doable. Okay, I think we might actually do this. The problem is, is that he has these more than likely massive colonial nations that are going to be total pains in the boot, booty cheeks to handle. Um, nice stack wipe. And let's get you guys off there. Cool. So now we're just sitting there waiting... He didn't lose Paris, did he? He did not. So honestly, until we can get the peace deal we're looking for, we're just gonna sit on the, the war with um, those bros over there. There we go. Get you guys up here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit on it. Might take some time. Um, yeah. So, we should probably also do something so with... Um, with our dudes. So let's get you guys over here and blockade what they do have left. There we go. We are taking attrition here, even though we totally have this stuff under control. That's a little strange, but it's, you know, it's okay. We won the Siege of Leon, so very good. go siege them all down once we full occupy their home provinces and their war exhaustion starts to stack up they'll be much more willing to peace out with me might be a stack wipe on their navy nope very good Let's see if we can stack wipe them now nope where are you guys running to They're running over here what in the world is happening They just got stack wiped. Nope. Somehow they're... Oh, they have one province down here. That's awesome. 
All right, so let's get you guys all grouped up somewhere where we can get you together. Let's go ahead and get our entire navy grouped up over here in like Akaruna. And uh, we're ahead, so we can actually, believe it or not, core up some land. Crazy. So, we have 55 transports. That's nuts. Okay. Let's get you guys over here in like Roma. Let's have you guys go ahead and go protect trade in Alexandria again. Or should I protect trade in Genoa? Probably in Genoa, honestly. If I wanted to, I could privateer over here, which would... Oh, we're transporting. I'd be ripping off Portugal. Castile isn't making hardly anything because I have all the trade power there. Let's, um... Oh, that's my light ships, right. Brain fart there. Go ahead and protect trade in Genoa. There we go. And we just need to wait a few months and we'll be able to get that peace. I just really need to be careful that France doesn't peace out with him. He still has high enthusiasm, so we're good. Um, Diplo tech cost is nice. Prussia wants a... Okay, I think I can manage that. Let's go ahead and do that and... There we go, spend some mill points, that way we can't get our idea groups. You know how it goes. Awesome. And we're just waiting. His war exhaustion is going to start getting really high as well. So, Prussia... We'll get uh, somebody from our dynasty. There we go. That's the peace deal, baby. I think we need to take this one from uh, from them, but we'll be able to holy war them for it. And I don't think they have any allies that I need to worry about. Netherlands, which I can just promise. Oh, I can just call France in. Very good. Let's do it. Byzantine Iberia. We're gonna. It's gonna take some time to core all that up, but it's fine because we don't have all the land in there. So let's get you guys down here. Let's get you guys over here. Beautiful. And this one, we will just. Um, because, like, I have claims. I literally have claims on their entire country. But obviously we can't do that for aggressive expansion slash... Um, uh, admin reasons. So we'll just piece them out. There we go. And let's see if we can just threaten him for this. No, we cannot. That's fine. I mean, I, I don't mind at all. I'll just totally do this right now. Let's actually have you guys... I suppose we just, we don't even need to have you guys flip over. We can just take you down there. I bet they have a huge navy though. Netherlands does. Netherlands has a giant navy. Jeez. Uh, we don't need to be... Anything we're coring up, we don't need. Let's see here. Jane and Cordoba. Well, I guess we have time, yeah. Might as well get it switched over. Let's also make sure we get you guys out here. They have five heavies. I actually need to be careful about this. We have a lot of lights, so I think we can handle it. Get a repair tick there. Come on over here, blockade that. I don't care about Aragon a whole lot. They have 28 heavies. Woo. <laughs> Looks like France is actually socking it to them. France is definitely going to be a great punching bag here. Bohemia will just come over here and just stomp the Netherlands, so I totally don't care. All I want is this one province. So, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I get this one province, I'm not going to I'm not going to whine about anything. Uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, I am speed fiving this one. I don't really care a whole lot about this war particularly. Which is funny because it's one of my larger wars that we've ever been involved in. I just need his enthusiasm to drop and I'll be able to take Gibraltar. I'm only taking what I have claims on. Which is just Gibraltar. Come on, baby. Give me Gibraltar. 
go ahead and have these guys group up and then split. Let's also get a uh, Morale of Armies guy. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and have you guys siege down Valencia. Let's have you guys go sit on Gibraltar so they don't cross any armies over. Production efficiency down is no fun, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. And look at this. It's making its way. Culture conversion is going great as well. We can go ahead and actually do some more. So uh, it's a little expensive, but I think we can manage that. These Cairo is expensive. Crimea is expensive. Sort by cost here. These ones are so cheap that I don't even care if they have the bonus, you know? All right, cool. Very good. Go ahead and get you guys down there. Taking all this land in southern France like they do. Let's go ahead and get a uh, inflation reduction. Sounds good. Let's come on over here. So they've lost a lot of heavies or a lot of ships in general. Let's get you guys over here. go he's on medium so we should be able to get it here very soon let's actually just come on out here we can probably get it very good easy um, here we go let's go ahead and suppress those rebels that means we can now click that one which will give us autonomy change which is nice and then as we get this stuff cored up and converted we will have a lot less to worry about I am gonna go ahead and do this and that way we can suppress these rebels here. A um, bunch of people leaving coalitions because after you stomp a war out, that's what they do. And uh, very good. Cool. Let's core this all up. Get lots of this manufactories over there. It's going to pay us large dividends in the long run. Overextension, or I mean our aggressive expansion is quite literally the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. But uh, we're good. And so I'm basically, I'm <clears throat> for anybody who's curious about why I'm saving this, Missionary Strength versus Heretics is going to be really good because this is all heretical land, all of this. And once we get um, Imperialism, we'll be able to just cruise through this. And it's going to be super nice. A bunch of people leaving the Coalition. Recover Lombardia. Yeah, so that's going to be a few wars for creation costs, so... It's all good. Liguria. So these two provinces right here we can state up. Let's also make sure we do that. So let's go ahead and core it all up. And go ahead and convert all this heathen lands over here. Or heretics. And make sure we're coring this stuff up as well, of course. Catholic zealots. Disgusting. Disgusting. Go ahead and make sure we got all our production stuff going well. Let's go ahead and make sure we take Miltech first. Let's get you guys brought over here to Tunis. Gain a free general, which is probably not a good one. Yep, he's not. All right. Free Diplo points. Sounds good to me. Uh, I don't care if Savoy doesn't like me. Gibraltar is going to need cord up. And then after that, we'll be able to uh, call it a done deal in southern Italy. Or southern uh, Espana. Oop. Muted my headphones. That was weird. Bump the button. Stab for an inflation. We've been at three stab for so long. Rather get rid of the inflation, you know? There we go. So, all of this reformed stuff is getting kicked out, which is really nice. 
Um, are we conver culture converting Napoli? No, farm estate. Hmm. I'm not in a huge rush to get everything culture converted because once we get the, what's it called? The thinger, the, um, the, um, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. My bad. <laughs> Clocked out. Um, Diplo rep. Sounds good. Our admin points are stacking up nice and nice and strong now. We can also state up some more land. So Saeed, I think, is like over here. Hey, first click. That's nice. I actually don't know if I want that land or not. Gladly. More at, um... Uh, what's this called? Absolutism is a good thing. So, yeah, at this point, we're honestly just waiting on cores and stuff. And tech and... AE is just ridiculous. Waiting on this truce here. Um, I have some claims on... Oh, I we just finished up a war with Portugal, so that's not gonna work. Uh, stab. Free stab. Look at that. Add in tech cost. Awesome. You literally cannot beat that. Oh! Let's go ahead and royal marry this guy. And then immediately spend some mill points on getting our absolutism up a bit. Let's actually see if we can decrease some autonomy. Very good. Give us a little bit of extra absolutism. It's very nice. And a little bit more. I need to be careful though, because I do not want to be super far behind on mill, especially considering that we have a military idea group. Alright, let's go over here and make sure that we can... let's support some rebels, huh? Castilian noble rebels? Sounds good. Let's see, do they have any unrest anywhere? I don't see any unrest. Culture conversions are happening. I like it. Be able to, uh, Alexandria is almost done. Let's see if anybody wants to be a vassal of ours. Uh, Circassia, Poland would be. Poland has lots of claims. Might be time to finally go to war with Bohemia again. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Patriarch Authority for admin points? Nah. Not worth. I think it's time, guys. Let's go ahead and break that alliance. That might actually prompt the coalition to start picking up, but I am not going to let it phase me. Let's go ahead and do all this fun stuff. There we go. Send them a gift and we'll be able to vassalize them right then and there. Beautiful. And where do you have cores? We can attack these guys who are a vassal of Russia. So we should do that. Circassia would be fine. Ostrakhan as well. I think my... So he really doesn't have any allies. Huh. It's awesome. Okay, let's get you guys over here. We'll get it all sorted out. It's no big deal. Uh, yep, that's fine. Professionalism is nice. When you're not using mercs, it's very nice. Let's go ahead and get you guys all upgraded. It's going to take some time. I do need to be careful, though. He might have miltech before me. Nope, definitely not, actually. <laughs> we are totally fine. Let's get you guys over there. Let's get you guys over here with a general like that. Let's get you guys with him. Beautiful. We just need to siege down Russia. Go ahead and just march on Moscow.
coalitions are definitely going to start picking back up now that we broke our alliance with Bohemia. We should probably pick up an alliance with somebody strong like the Timurids who will prevent uh, us from getting attacked, which is going to be huge. Huge. I'm just going to give all this land to Poland. Uh, this is Ruthenian, so he'll just accept it. He'll accept Ruthenian culture. There you go, Russia. Province of Alexandria is good to go. Let's consecrate Metropolitan, baby. It's good stuff. Okay, let's just siege down as much Russian lands as we can. I wonder if he's gone bankrupt at all. If he has, I missed it. He might have. His economy has recovered a lot if he hasn't. All right, very good. Let's immediately get to work on a couple of level six forts. There we go. People annex costs, don't care about, don't care about corruption. I don't really drill my army, so I don't care about that either. Put into the treasury or free prestige. Well, I don't have any need for it, so let's just go ahead and switch those guys up. And, um... Core up everything we can. Coalition is quite large now. Just me and France. <laughs> Might need to uh, bolster the army a bit more. Lost the Siege of Dalmatia. Feels bad, man. So, I will give him this and I will take all of this for myself. And then I'll just give it back to Poland. So let's go ahead and do that. I will give him... That guy there. That guy there those guys and those guys and I will march him as well Poland has awesome awesome military ideas with the cavalry manpower modifier infantry combat ability and then the wing to SARS cavalry so they're gonna be just super strong vassal to have um, he also has some claims on Lithuania Bohemia I'm not gonna be able to attack hmm no, actually, I probably could. That's not true. Their allies are, are not that strong. That's going to be a real big war, though, for sure, whenever that happens. Let's go ahead and attack Lithuania. Sweden won't even join him. So he has claims on all of that, really? What in the world? He has so many claims on him. Huh. Um, let's lose some stab. I don't care. Let's get these guys all grouped up down here and we can just go to war with Lithuania. Go ahead and uh, reconquest. Nobody else is going to join. He doesn't have an army to speak of, so it's fine. Let's... Jeez, oh, Pete. There we go. Maybe I should uh, be a little bit smarter about where I'm taking my guys, but I really don't care a whole lot. I'm not concerned about him. There we go. Just gonna siege him down. He'll peace out. You know, we'll be able to get this war over with in, within a couple of months, so. The Eunice. Get you guys up there and get you guys up there. Such an easy war. Does he have an army anymore? I oh, built up his army a bit. As isn't going anywhere with it, but uh, they built it at least. And so I'll just take whatever I can. This is a oh, it's not a holy war, right? So I'll just take what I can, and I'll. Jeez, oh Pete, I'd like to win a siege. There we go. Coalition is strong. Let's go ahead and go with harsh treatment cost. So I will take all of that. I'll give this to Poland since it's a reconquest war. And uh, so that'll give that whole state to him. Take all of his money. And then I will give more land to Poland. 
Make him more overextended. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Awesome. Let's get you guys down here. The truce with them is gonna be up here next year. And I think it's gonna be what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go to war with Bohemia in the next war. Reconquest as much lands as we can from him. It very well may be able to do all of it. It's gonna be tough to say, but uh, we'll do that in the next, next one. Uh, our truce with Milan is up, actually. We can attack them right now. But they're in a coalition, so I guess we're not in a huge rush anymore until we can get um, um what's the word I'm looking for? M M M uh, uh, imperialism. We're gonna have a hard time really, really expanding up here. More than likely, we're gonna have to start considering how we're gonna be able to get rid of the HRE. So we have to take a look at these guys, see who I need to ally, who I'm gonna need to. Hopefully, everybody will defend him when we attack him, and we'll be able to get that all sorted out. So. Hope you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to check out the Discord or support me on my Patreon, links are in the description below. And with all of that, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yudaldo, Jaren Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock, I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, catch you guys later.